Nvidia's new GPU expected to release in the middle of 2016, but what do we know about it so far? Here in this video I'm gonna reveal 5 facts about Nvidia Pascal that you probably did not know. Number 1 So the first one is that there is going to be no more DDR5 VRAM. Instead, NVIDIA will use the next generation HBM2 memory standard for Pascal. HBM, which stands for High Bandwidth Memory, was first introduced by AMD with the Fury X and is basically a new kind of memory. If you notice with your DDR5 cards, its memory chips are soldered around the main chip. On the other hand, HBM memory chips can be stacked right next to the processor, leading to more bandwidth, better power efficiency, and overall faster performance. Number 2. Up to 32 gigs of RAM per GPU. While AMD was first to market with this technology, they could only utilize HBM1, which has 4 gigs of VRAM limitation via single GPUs and 8 gigs with a dual card solution. HBM2 allows NVIDIA to double the effective speed per pin and higher memory densities. This means that GPU cards can have 4 HBM2.0 chips with 4 gigs per chip or 4 HBM2.0 chips with 8 gigs per chip, creating a card with up to 32 gigs of VRAM. NVIDIA confirmed, however, that upcoming Pascal cards will launch with 16 gigs, but this capacity will most likely increase in the future. The need for this amount of VRAM is out of for debate, but as games get more and more demanding, and here we're talking about mostly 4K, it's always a good idea for memory technology to be far ahead. Number 3. It will have 1 terabyte per second of total bandwidth. Memory bandwidth is basically the speed of the video RAM, the amount of memory that can be used to process files in a second. It's measured in gigabytes per second. The more bandwidth you have, the faster the video card can draw higher quality images. To give you an idea what 1 terabyte per second of total bandwidth means, consider the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti and Titan X with each having a total memory bandwidth of 336.5 gigs per second. That's a huge bandwidth increase two times what the AMD Fury X offers. Number 4. NVIDIA Pascal is 16 nanometer based. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, aka TSMC, will be carrying out the manufacturing of NVIDIA's Pascal GPU, beating out a competing bid from Samsung and continuing a 20-year collaboration between the two companies. This also means the introduction of TSMC's 16 nanometer FinFET node. Also called FinFET Plus technology, it pertains to the physical size of the GPU itself. Current GPU cards use 28 nanometer FAT process, and generally speaking, the more transistors you can fit on a card, the faster the card will be. The NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti is 28 nanometer based and boasts 8 billion transistors. But how about Pascal? Up to 17 billion transistors by maintaining a smaller physical size. According to TSMC, their 16 nanometer process can also deliver above 65% higher speed, around 2 times the density and 70% less power compared to its 28 nanometer counterpart. Number 5. Nvidia Pascal will support NVLink. Pascal will be the first GPU in the world to adopt NVLink, which is Nvidia's attempt to connect the PC's processors, CPUs and GPUs, so they can exchange data 5 to 12 times faster. A typical system has one or more GPUs connected to a CPU using PCI Express. And even at the fastest PCI Express 3.0 speeds, and with the widest supported links, PCI Express greatly limits the real bandwidth available between the CPU and its system memory. NVLink will provide between 80 and 200 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, allowing the GPU full bandwidth access to the CPU's memory system. We can only begin to imagine how that will impact multi-GPU setups. That was it guys for today about NVIDIA Pascal. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe if you want to see new contents from me in the future. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment about your video card preferences. Will you purchase the next high-end NVIDIA card? I'm really curious about your opinions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.